Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. Want to take a second to welcome you to Monday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast, where we're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a question, and it's this. If you're struggling to trust God today, and your faith is weak, how is it going to become strong? You know, you might be watching the broadcast today, and there might be a situation in your life where you're just struggling to trust the Lord. And your faith is just very, very weak. Well, how are you going to go from having weak faith to having strong faith? And friend, let me encourage you today. If your faith is weak, it can become strong. Romans chapter 12, verse 3 says this. It says that God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. And the first thing that we need to understand is that we already have faith. God has already given it to us. So we don't need to ever ask God for faith. We never need to pray the prayer, Lord, give me faith. Because He's already given faith to us, and we already have it. In fact, I want you to say this with me. I have the faith of God living in me right now. Friend, it's yours, it belongs to you, and you already have faith. Now that faith can vary in size, strength, and degree. In Romans chapter 4, verse 19, it talked about Abraham being strong in faith, and not being weak in faith. So your faith can vary from strong to weak. And in Matthew chapter 14, when Peter fell from walking on the water, Jesus reached forth and grabbed his hand and said, O ye of little faith. So your faith can vary from little to big. And then in Matthew chapter 8, Jesus referred to a man's faith as being great, or great faith. So your faith can be great, your faith can be big, your faith can be strong, your faith can be up, or your faith can be little, your faith can be small. It can be weak. Now, you and I are supposed to be strong in our faith. I want to say that to you again. You and I are supposed to be strong in our faith. In Mark chapter 16, it said that Jesus reproved his disciples. He upbraided them for their unbelief. And what that means is he corrected them with severity for their weakness of faith or for their lack of faith. So you see, God's expectation for you and me is that our faith in him would be strong and that it wouldn't be weak. We're supposed to be strong in our faith. Now, how are we going to get it there? How are we going to get our faith to the place where it's strong? Well, we're going to have to do two things. Number one, you're going to have to feed your faith. And your faith is fed on the Word of God. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So as you hear the Word of God, as you spend time exposing yourself to the Word of God, faith is coming and faith is building. If you feed on the wrong things, it's going to weaken your faith. If you feed on the problem, and if you feed on the negative circumstances, and if you feed on the evil report, it's going to weaken your faith, and it's going to bring your faith down. So this, those areas where you're struggling to trust God, and those areas where your faith seems weak, friend, you need to find scriptures and find out what the Word of God has to say about those areas, and then begin to feed on those scriptures. And feed on those words and meditate on those words and speak those words and spend time in those words. And as you feed on those words, it'll help your faith to get stronger. It'll help your faith to grow. Now, the second thing you're going to have to do for your faith to be strong is you're going to have to exercise your faith. And the way you exercise your faith is you use your faith. And the way that you use your faith is that you choose to trust God and you choose to believe Him Every day, no matter what comes, no matter what you see, no matter what you feel, no matter what kind of report you got, you choose to trust God. And every time you use your faith, every time you choose to trust God and you make the choice to believe, you're using your faith. And when you use your faith, you're exercising your faith. And as you exercise your faith, it's going to grow and it's going to get stronger. You know, faith is a lot like a natural muscle. If you don't use it, it's not going to get any stronger. But when you choose to trust God and choose to believe Him and use your faith, it's going to help it to grow and it's going to help it to get stronger. So friend, I want to remind you of three things today as we're closing. Number one, you already have faith. God has given it to you. Number two, your faith in God is supposed to be strong. It's supposed to be big. It's supposed to be great. And number three, for your faith to be strong, you're going to have to feed it on the Word of God and you're going to have to exercise your faith. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today, Lord, that you want us to have strong faith. So we make the decision today to feed our faith on your words and to choose to trust you no matter what comes. And when we do, Lord, we thank you that our faith will go from being weak 
to being strong. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.